Hello sunshines, my name is Mariah Rosie and today I'm going to be painting this wooden disc. So I bought these wooden discs from the wonderful old Wally world and they came in a pack of however many and I'm just going to be drawing this really cool skull thingy on it which is awesome. And um, I'm going to be talking about things that will make you go into an existential crisis that I think about too often. So these are going to be kind of coming off the top of my head because I did not write them down. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can think of some really cool concepts. It'll be just kind of like a little discussion podcast and stuff. It'll be kind of like that, but it's not actually a podcast. So anyway, we'll talk about that stuff since I'm drawing and painting a weird skull because it's cool. Um, I was originally going to be talking about like some more serious stuff like, oh, like, you know, let's talk about a topic of self-help. But I got around to thinking, I'm like... Ooh, what if we just did some stuff that'll make you go into an existential crisis? That sounds way more fun. So, um, before we get on to doing that, I would like to just say thank you for 200 subscribers. Over 200 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you for, you know, helping me along the way, wanting to watch my content, and we watch, I was gonna say that, uh, watch my content. Uh, that's what I meant to say and um just like supporting me and everything and i appreciate you so very much so thank you so much and here's to going forward and getting to a thousand subscribers because that'll be so amazing um so yes anyway let's get on to talking about things that will make you go into an existential crisis all right so as I said earlier, this is going to be very, very rambly and pretty much going off the top of my head. I will discuss these different concepts um, just a little bit. We'll move on to the next one. We'll see how many I can come up with or think about. I've thought about a lot of these different concepts before. Um, I really need to write them down definitely because they're very interesting and definitely make you think about your mortality and just life in general on the earth. So the first one here I have, um, oh, also these are just, some of them are just kind of like random cool thoughts or whatever. They're not exactly on like, oh, the meaning of life and mortality. They're just random stuff that I like to talk about or think about. So the first one that has been blowing my mind for a while, if I'm freaking correct on the math, I have the ability to live until 2100. I had put my age and my birthday through um, a calculator or whatever on like some website and I think it said I would live to be 101 years old. I'm 21 right now so I don't know if that freaking math is right at all so who knows? My birthday is October 4th, 1998, if anybody is wondering, so you can calculate that correctly because I'm very bad at math. Um, but if that math is correct and I can live until 2100, can you even freaking imagine how crazy that concept is if the world doesn't freaking go to shit before then and we can actually all just live until that date? Can you imagine how crazy the world is going to be in that time and how different it'll be? Just the amount of technology, the different things that'll go on in history. Who knows? It's so crazy for me to think about that I can live that long. Just the thought that humans as like a species can freaking live so long is amazing to me. Just because it's like, you know, you see other mammals and stuff like that that are like bigger than us or like smaller than us or whatever, and they honestly don't live that long. And it's like really crazy to me that like humans can live this long. And I'm really curious, how long do like whales live? Because they're mammals and they're they're really big. I would expect them to live a pretty long time, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um. But I just find it really weird because it's like horses only live like, I don't know how long horses live. I know they can live a pretty long time. Um, but like cats and dogs, like they don't live that long. Like only about like however many years is like 15, 20 years for like cats or something. Um, you know, that's a really long time for a cat though. But it's just really crazy to me how long we can live. Um, 
and how much of history we could see and ha that I could see if I lived that long. Um, and who knows how the earth will change, what, you know, if we'll fix climate change, if we'll fix, you know, how many species will be extinct, will we have robots, will we have cool fashion and skyscrapers and businesses and how will the world work basically? And it's just very odd to think about. So another kind of concept that I think about that might not make you go into an existential crisis, but makes me just kind of, it just weirds me out, is that right now in the year we're living, in the century we're living, or whatever, the decade we're living, we will most likely, um, right now, we're, we're pretty much like living in history and the items and the things we interact and the fashion we have, the foods we eat, um, will all be ancient someday. Like, people will look back on the things we're consuming and buying right now and looking at right now and the movies right now will all be considered vintage, antique, um, classics, um, and someday, maybe even thousands of years in the future, all of the stuff we have right now will be considered to be ancient and, like, will be artifacts. Like, dude! How crazy is that concept? It's just so mind-blowing to me to even think about a concept of like, I'm literally interacting with history right now. Like, I'm recording on this blue Yeti snowball microphone. This thing can be history someday. It can be an artifact that could be in a freaking museum someday. Like, mind blown i just i love the concept of that so much and to think that someday like if like okay let, like scenario let's say the earth goes to absolute shit which everybody kind of says it already is and stuff but i have hope for the future that it won't go that way um but like let's say some crazy shit goes down um and stuff and eventually down the line somebody like finds my artwork after it's been like a thousand years or however and like people will like you know really look at my artwork and like try to like figure out who did it and like excuse me uh, got a little burp there um but like people like try to like go ahead and figure out basically who was the artist or maybe they do know the artist and who it was and like they'll like put it up in museums because it's like a big part of history and just like the thought that things that I'm doing right now will be considered vintage even in the future like let's say the most advanced piece of technology will be like archaic and like stuff like that like god that's such a weird concept to me to think that and I just love it at the same time though I'm just like whoa that's so cool and it's hilarious because I'm like whoa dude like I'm saying like a lot but that's okay um but if we look at our fashion we're wearing these days we often look at like the 1920s and like you know fashion like that is very antique and old and like you know people will dress up and and it's like I think it's its own subgenre of fashion of vintage um looks and stuff like that like people do their hair up all vintage and like buy vintage clothes and I'm just like I love that style also it's so amazing I love it um and stuff like that but like people do that and well, not because it's a part of history and it's just a different style um and just to think that the clothes that we're all wearing these days will be possibly like worn by people in the future and considered really old fashioned. Like what? That's so weird. I wonder how fashion will evolve over the years because I feel like our, our fashion these days are very just kind of like um, bougie and like Gucci, we got all of that. We got people who are wearing very expensive clothing. And then we just have like people who are wearing normal clothes that are just like super basic. Like they're just jeans, shirt, accessories, you know. Dude, people are gonna look back on this and think of it as like, you know, we look back on like different eras, like the 70s, 
um, decades or whatever, and we're like, oh, this is what the aesthetic of the 70s was. And like, we can even look at like the 2010s as like, here's the aesthetic of 2010s. You know, it's like so weird that right now in the 2020s, we can eventually say like, this is good. This is the aesthetic of the 2020s, basically. It's so weird to me. It's so weird. I love it though. I absolutely love it. So here's another very existential kind of thing that will really make you think. Um, also, I don't know if I need to put a trigger warning on this at all because it does have to do with kind of like life and like dying and stuff like that. So just a little trigger warning if you are sensitive to some different things like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and go. Um, <laughs> so nobody really knows the meaning of life, do they? Like, they honestly don't. Um, nobody understands what it means, why we're here. Um, some people claim they do. Some people claim they'll never know or will never know. And I feel like we'll never really truly know what the meaning of life is. It's basically kind of what you make it. But even despite thinking that, um, you know, I, I guess I can also add on, like, some people think that the meaning of life is about the journey, um, people think it's about family, um, friends, they'll think it's about experiences, like, for me, life, the meaning of life is, you know, inspiring and helping other people and also experiencing everything, like, that's my meaning to life, but, um, you know, other people have different ideas, like their meaning of life has to do with religion or whatever else. So there's so many different things people think about when it comes to the meaning of life. But I got around to thinking recently, the meaning of life is to literally just die. That's the meaning of life. To live is to die. That is our meaning and purpose in life, is to literally just die. Um, the only thing we're doing is preoccupying our time until death. Um, and people in society and just like people as a species in general has deemed that we need to earn money and we need to work in order to live. And maybe that's our meaning, you know, and like we just need to do that. But if you take and strip away a lot of what society and just the world is telling us to do, you really don't have that much. You have your activities, what you enjoy doing and consuming, um, but that's pretty much all you have. If you take that away, then you are left with basically nothing. If you are very bare bones thinking about our species and just like why we're here in general, it's pretty much nothing. We're just here to live. We're just here, you know, I guess you could say like in a more biological standpoint, we're here to reproduce, but that's, I mean, that's every animal's pretty much purpose is to just reproduce. So there's a new species to, there's like not a new species. There's just like more of the species to keep going. You know, that's one of our purposes. But I mean, if you take away just all of the sustenance that, substance, su su what? <laughs> one of those words but if you take away it all take it all away i my god i can't speak today um you basically have nothing we're just a creature where the only purpose we have here is to is to die we're supposed to die and that's the end goal we kind of just wait around to die honestly um and stuff like that so it's just a concept I thought about the other day. I know it's really bad, honestly, um, to think about that, but oh uh, yes. So here is a very, very cool existential sort of question and thing I have thought about before. And I'm pretty sure I had run across um, a video or something like that that also had some different information on some of this different stuff. But my initial thought, um, which I'll actually talk about a different one that's kind of, it's not really related, but it's kind of having to do with like simulations and stuff. So a lot of people these days kind of do believe that life is just a simulation because you, if you've seen any videos of people being like, 
oh, there was like a glitch in the matrix um, and a glitch because like there's so many different videos I've seen of just like things being really weird, like birds hovering in midair or like planes just in midair, not moving and like um, cars crashing into invisible objects and st stuff like that. You know, there's so many different videos of like, oh, we're living in a simulation, it glitched kind of thing. That's a beside the point. Um, so my initial thought about stuff that I've thought about for a while is that we're actually like in a video game or like aliens are controlling us or something. Um, and that's what I've thought about sometimes is like aliens are controlling us. Um, from a video game kind of thing. And I'm like, you know, it's such a weird concept to think about that life might not actually be what we think it is and it's not actually reality kind of thing. Um, and oh, that's a really interesting concept I'm just thinking about here. So what if like, for instance, um, there are actually different programs running and like stuff and that's actually like the different dimensions people talk about because there are a lot of spiritual people I've heard who basically believe there are alternate dimensions and like things like that which I'm kind of like you know what it's totally possible alternate dimensions and things like that you know what if it's actually like we're all in a big computer and it's running different codes and like those different dimensions are actually different programs on a computer kind of thing like how crazy is that to think about and the information that i had seen was that somebody said that in the future we have will our technology will basically have the ability to create real life like the ai that will be used in future technology will most likely have the ability to create ai that can think for itself and act exactly like a human being and can learn and just basically do anything and it basically becomes a loop because the people in the program we basically will make are pretty much going to be like humans they can do everything that we can and they'll be, they won't think it's a simulation. They'll just think that it's reality. And they'll actually be kind of like a corporeal, like real being kind of thing. Is corporeal the real word, is the actual word I should be using? I don't know. But basically it's saying that like we can make another world or whatever. And then like that race will eventually evolve into getting technology and then they'll make um, technology to do that. So then it'll basically be a big loop. And what if we're in the loop currently and we're actually just kind of like a video game, like a simulation video game kind of thing. And it's just very odd to possibly think about. And I'm just like, wow, thanks. I hate it. I hate that concept, but it's so interesting at the same time. So just think about that for a minute, that life actually might not mean anything. Like, I, you know, I already kind of went over that. But life might actually not even be real. It might not even be real. So all those worries and things you're worrying about might not even be real. It might just be code. It might just be code. That's crazy to think about. All right, so this last thing might not be particularly like existential and like will send you into an existential crisis, but it's an interesting concept that I used to think about when I was a kid and I just kind of want to discuss it or whatever because I was fucking messed up as a kid um, for thinking this because I didn't realize how messed up this concept actually was. So when I was a kid, I loved animals a lot and I loved magical animals. And I thought, you know, I really like wings and stuff like that, like the idea of flying and whatever. And I love the idea of like flying tigers and wolves. And I, I love that stuff so much. Um, but a concept that I had ended up thinking about a lot was putting wings onto like um a mouse like taking sparrow wings and 
transferring them onto some sort of little creature so it could fly. And I thought about this with like, I think cats, if I'm correct, or mice or something like that. But basically, like, you take um, wings from like a bird and then you could somehow like connect them to like this animal and then it could like fly. Because I thought I was, I, th I thought it was freaking smart. And I was like, okay, so what you would end up doing is you'd put the animal under anesthesia, um, if, is it anesthesia? Anesthetics? What? I don't know. Something like that. You'd put it under, and then you would have the wings, and you would operate on its back, and somehow line the joints up so it could fly properly, tie all of the nerve endings and muscles together, and then you would stitch it up, then you'd have a flying animal, basically. And I thought it was smart, and I'm like, why don't scientists do this? And I'm like, oh, now I'm looking back now, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, Mariah, maybe because it's fucking unethical? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's inhumane to do that. Um, it's animal cruelty. Wow. I was just so kind of just clueless as a kid, and I think all of us were. And I just find it hilarious that I even thought of that horrific concept like that can honestly be like a science like experiment like horror movie or story like excuse me i thought of this when i was a freaking little kid whoa what was going through my head <laughs> oh it's just so weird to think about um and stuff but you know, that concept of doing it nowadays, like, would not fly at all. But, like, can you imagine that that kind of concept would actually fly in, like, 1900s? Like, there would actually be real-life scientists that would maybe want to actually try and attempt to do that. Because there are so many different experiments that ended up happening a really long time ago that are actually extremely cruel and messed up. And... I enjoy learning about them because I find it so interesting what was going on and what went on in the scientists and researchers' heads of like, oh, why didn't you think this was like freaking wrong? Um, and also, I just find them very interesting because I like, I just, I don't know, I like that experimentation stuff and whatnot. I don't know. I like, I like learning about messing up, messed up stuff, basically. Um, sometimes I find it very interesting, but just to think that how, like, how long ago, like, we could actually do very inhumane things to people. I mean, because you can look, look at, like, World War II and, like, stuff like that, and there were, were just so many people who were actually heartless, kind of, if you wanted to put it that way, who just did a uns things um and just the concept of how we as humans nowadays view those different things as very animalistic and very inhumane is just very odd um you look at torture methods in the past and it's all very inhumane and you know obviously because it's torture but like we don't do that stuff nowadays because i i don't know why um not saying i should we should bring it back absolutely not but the odd fact that our society is so different than back then is absolutely amazing. Um, and to think that animal wing concept would have actually flew, haha <laughs> puns, oh my god, um, is to think that would have actually gone on in the past if somebody would have thought about it is absolutely crazy to me. So anyway, that's the last thing I have to say. Just a little cool thing that I was thinking about here randomly. This is a very long discussion video, but I hope you found it very interesting because I know I find these things very interesting as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, make sure to go ahead and click the links below to any of my shops or social media. Um, I am hoping someday to stream on twitch but i can't figure it out right now it's very complicated to set up but in the meantime i am streaming on tiktok some days and stuff so 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching again. I have said that like three times now. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll go now. See you guys later. Bye-bye.